Welcome back to Stumping at the Warren and I'm Kim Tolton and today I am going to show you how quick it is to make some very beautiful but simple note cards um, and the basis of what we're using is stumping up note cards and envelopes and they come in packs of <coughs> 20 so you get 20 envelopes, 20 note cards <clears throat> and they come in either Whisper White or Crumb Cake. Um, and today I just really want to illustrate how quickly you can make some really lovely little thank you cards. Um, that maybe if you're a, a demonstrator it would be a really quick one for your hostesses or a party event, a hostess party event. Um, if you're not a demonstrator then it would be a lovely pack to give to somebody um, who you know has got events coming up maybe a special birthday or you know they're going to be getting gifts for something or you know that you're going to be getting gifts um, and you want thank you cards so you could give them as a gift as a hostess gift um, as part of your business or just as part of your pleasure of stamping and creating beautiful cards for people to say thank you so um, what I'm using today I'll go through obviously we're using um, the note cards and envelopes so on top of that we are well I am using the sassy salutations and I'm using the thank you in here but there's some other super little sentiments in there these are retiring um, so you know get on my website looking up the retiring list to see if they're still available and then gorgeous grunge which is running over to the new catalogue so so delighted that it's staying with us great all round stamp set unisex ageless you know you can use it for anything um, and if ever you've got a bit of white space and you just want a little something in there then this is the stamp set you absolutely must have so on top of that we have got basic rhinestones and then finally um, we're using one of the papers from the Going Places um, designer series paper stack that's in the current seasonal catalogue and I'll quickly flick through for you so you can see all the different papers in there um, and they're just beautiful. So we're using some of that. Um, so, right, let's see how quick we can make some cards. All right. So I'm going to keep that there. Oh, and the other thing I forgot, actually, we're using Island Indigo ink, but you can use any ink, replace any ink. And we're using some silver thread. And that means you will need adhesive and you will need your paper, paper snips as well. Right, so first of all, we're going to do the cards, and I do mine by leaving them open, so I don't fold them um, until I've finished. And with the the large, or the, I should say, the, the most diverse splatter, like a fist pump. Um, that's the stamp we're using and it's really easy to place on your card so you don't breach that score line and we're just using the one ink pad and because I want the paper to make a feature we're actually going to stamp off ink just on I'm using my grid paper you could use um, scrap paper so first card you just want one, two, three to the side, ink up, stamp off some of that ink, come back and put your splatter on and then ink up again, Let me leave the ink on ink pad there I think and ink off one, two, three, you can change the directions and then the 
this is card number four so stamp off one two three and the last one here one two three remembering to ink off first next you just want to get your little envelopes and whilst we've got that ink pad there we're going to use it to do a pattern on your flap of your envelope so one and two and then we bring in a second stamp which is a small splodge and you're going to leave this nice and intense one two that's one envelope done and then we bring in the next one ink off open that flap one two and add one and two splodges so that's envelope two done And this is um, how we make swaps. So it's all done piecework basically and it really dramatically cuts down the amount of time it takes to make your goodies. And this is the last, is it the last penultimate envelope here. don't have to be exact because that's the nature of a collage stamp and they never go to the same person unless you're doing it as a pack so it's a rather irrelevant thing and then one two so that is the envelopes actually finished put the large splodge away and the small splodge and next we're going to do the actual thank you. So the thank you is going to go in this top section here. And we're using tone on tone. So we're sticking with, thank you, uh, with Island Indigo rather. And just stamp that on the top there. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. And you will notice that that birthday, that thank you rather, really stands out and the reason is because we inked off the some of the ink to do the background so by doing that we can use tone on tone because we're using the full colour to do the thank you and we are doing a reduced colour for the splatter where we've inked off onto paper so that's all of that part done now is a bit of trimming And you just want these trimmed to, now where have I put my piece of card stop or piece of deck paper? Yeah. I just need to check I'm in the right place. 12 point, yeah. So it's 12.8 centimetres by 1.5 so I've already trimmed it to 12.8 so we then want one and a half and you obviously want five strips at one and a half centimeters and all the details will be up on my blog and obviously you you can use this process to make as many cards or as few cards as you want. One half. We've got 
one, two, three. over there and then it's going to go one at a time so turn the paper over run a strip of tear and tape down the back right way right along do that for each one in there, one, two, three, four, and five. And then one at a time, peel off the backing. And I just want to make sure I have got the width right, and I think I've probably gone too long. Yeah, I have obviously got it mixed around the wrong way, it's my fault. Um, so just take backing paper off just one at a time and bring in your silver thread. You could use um, the gold, um, and I think there may be some new colors coming in the new catalog. Wrap it around your fingers several times. You get a nice loop, cut off the end with your paper snips, loop it round and then that you're going to tuck on the back here and any wayward bits just turn it round, loop it on and then that can go down on your card front. And obviously in the ideal world you wouldn't have got it in the wrong way around so I'm just going to snip off that extra which I'll do with each of them and that is your first card completely made so bring in your next one take off the backing wrap around your silver thread I'm just doing two slightly widened fingers I've managed to get that stuck down now there we go loop it all round and that goes on your next one that's two completely made see how easy it is to get the backing off um, the old sticky strip that Stampin' Up! used to do oh my word I've still got quite a lot of it and it drives me mad because it's so static it's one with a red um, backing sheet to it it drives me bonkers um, so I only use that for when I'm doing my mock-ups because um, I just can't bear the static on it it's been discontinued now um, 
which I'm rather pleased about. It's not often I'm pleased things retire, but that was one. Um, there we go. That's the next one done. Snip off that excess. Obviously, you will have trimmed it to the right size. That's that next one made. And two more. You could, which I was going to do, um, do each one in a different colour. And then I thought, no, I'll just show you the process of how I make up my cards. When I'm doing it in bulk. And then if you wanted to, you could do each card a different colour. So you've got a unisex slot, so you could have baby colour, children colour, male, female and then a non. Um, and then our last one. Um, and I would love to see your photos. So if you do, do make up a little pack of cards, um, then share it with us. I'd love, absolutely love to see it. Um, I do really enjoy watching because as you know, I'm quite happy for everybody to case any of my products, any of my um, card and paper craft makes. Um, because it helps to give you a little bit of inspiration um, and sometimes I have to go back through things that I've made before just to get that little bit of inspiration but you can share your photos on my community Pinterest board and the details of that are oh look I put that on the wrong side oh we've got one with a different piece got the different sides that showing that's different there you go <laughs> So we almost had five matching, but there you go. So you've got one, two, three, and the last thing you just want to do is five cards there. Get your bone folder out, burnish that fold, and match it up with one of your envelopes. Just so. And then the same with the next one. Fold it. Burnish. Pop your card around it. I find this sort of piecework quite therapeutic. I, it allows me to zone out and I don't have to think too much um, because I'm, I'm just on a roll. I cut all the cardstock to, to size and all the other elements to size, any papers to size and then I do the assembly all in one go. Um, and if you've got things on your mind, it is a brilliant way of just zoning out. So there you've got those cards. And we're going to just pretty it up a little bit with some... I'm going to pop the one I've got ran the wrong way at the back. Um, and you're just going to pop some black stitched thread uh, thread it's satin uh, ribbon stitched satin ribbon and just turn it around I've completely done that the right wrong way around haven't I what a twit Come on, Kim. There's the other end. There. Oh, I've got in such a pickle here. Never mind. We'll get there. There we are. Now bring it round. 
tie a pretty bow, bunny loops, and make sure the ribbon always goes backwards. That goes behind you, and then you'll have a pretty bow. Snip off your ends, and you can then coordinate your cards and your ribbon. And they have a little gift. Sweet as that. So, there you go. That is today's project. Hope you like it. Have a go at doing a bit of piecework yourself. Um, and see what you come up with. I'd love to see it. So, thanks for watching today. You know that the videos are all linked to my blog. Just follow the link um, underneath the video. Or click on the little eye icon or just hover over the eye icon in the top right corner and you will do you know what I forgot to put basic rhinestones on them all oh, look they were supposed to have little basic rhinestones sorry about that um yes yeah, so just um if you click on I've got lost now um yeah little eye icon top right of the video if you hover over there, a little card will show. Click on it, take you straight through to today's project. And I'm going to redo these with my um, basic rhinestones now. So whilst I do that, I'm going to say ta-ta for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.